We turn today to John chapter 11. It's a little town called Bethany. Bethany means the house of song, but in this passage, it's a house of sorrow. There was a house in Bethany that Jesus often visited. It was the house of Martha, Mary and Lazarus. But the Saviour's away at this time and sickness comes. And whenever Lazarus took sick, the sisters sent a message to Jesus, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. Now they didn't tell Jesus to come, but they expected that he would come because the word of God says that Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. And love will always seek to help in the time of need. When the message came to the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus said this, this sickness is not unto death. Now that did not mean that Jesus was saying that Lazarus would not die, but that he knew the end of the story. It would not end in death, but life. And he knew something else, that there was going to be a purpose in all of this, even in his delay, the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified thereby. You see, with God, there's always a purpose, even in his delays, even when we don't understand. In the meanwhile, Martha and Mary sat at the side of Lazarus' bed and they watch him grow weak and then he dies. As they sat there, they wondered, where's Jesus? Why is he not come? And that brings us to the reality. Because four days after Lazarus was in the grave, Jesus did come. And when Martha heard that Jesus had come, she ran uh, to the verge of the city and there she spoke to the Lord Jesus and she said, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. She unburdened her grief. Some people say that she was critical of Christ in those words, not so. Mary said practically the very same words when she came. But I believe that Martha and Mary had talked this together. They knew that if Jesus had come, that he had power to heal. They had no doubt that Jesus Christ had the power to heal their brother Lazarus. And so she starts to reason. She said, but Lord, I, I know that if you ask God, he gives you whatsoever you ask. Jesus says, Martha, thy brother shall rise again. She says, Lord, I know he'll rise again at the resurrection. But Jesus says, Martha, I'm the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. See, Martha had not the full understanding. She didn't spend the time that Mary spent at the feet of Jesus. And then she went off and she told her sister Mary, Mary, the master's come and he calleth for thee. That brings us to the rejoicing. When Mary heard that, immediately she got up and she ran to go to Jesus. Now those who are with her comforted her. They thought she was going to the grave. She was going to Jesus. And she came to Christ. She fell where she always was found at the feet of Jesus. She wept, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. And Jesus, when he saw her tears, he groaned within himself. He said, where have you laid him? And they said, Lord, come and see. And they brought him to a cave with a stone upon it. And Jesus stood there and he wept. Because the Lord knew that's what sin brought into this world. Death by sin. A hearty heartbreak. And then Jesus said, Roll away the stone. And Martha says, but Lord, he's dead four days. Behold, by this time he stinketh. And Jesus says, Martha, did not I say unto thee, if thou wouldst believe, thou shouldst see the glory of God. And Jesus cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he did. Bound hand and foot. And Jesus says, loose him and let him go. Oh, the rejoicing that day as that family were re reunited. Who made the difference, Fred? 
the Lord Jesus. And thank God he can make the difference in your life. What a wonderful thing. When the Lord Jesus unites a family and brings the last one to himself. I pray God will do it for your family. That you'll go on your way rejoicing. Heavenly Father, bless thy word to our hearts. Unite families in Christ. In Jesus' name. From my heart to yours, home to yours. God bless you.